Tomorrow, the community is invited to a picnic-style watch party for Trash Dance. The 2012 documentary is part of an outdoor celebration to thank local sanitation workers for their service during the pandemic. Joining us to talk about what we can expect are Allison Orr, artistic director and founder of Forklift Dance Works, and Terrell Hagler, a former sanitation worker in Philadelphia, who will be speaking at the event. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and s start with you, Allison. Uh, the Trash Project first performed in 2009, more than 10 years ago. How did you come up with this dance concept of sanitation workers and large vehicles? Mm -hmm. Well, at Forklift Dance Works, we're inspired by the movement of everyday life and work. And of course, I had seen sanitation workers coming down my street, picking up trash, and I as a choreographer saw so many opportunities to make an extraordinary dance. I also knew there was a story there, an important story that all of us as residents needed to know about the work that goes behind keeping our city safe and clean. So I approached the sanitation department and the employees the leadership were extraordinary. They took me in and I rode out on the back of trash trucks for a year and collaborated with a group of employees to create, I think one of the most beautiful dances I've ever had the chance to be a part of uh, called The Trash Project, chronicled in this film by Andy Garrison called Trash Dance. Uh, uh, Terrell, in the last year, you gained fame on social media for your viral post about trash collection, often, you know, describing what is a very dangerous and exhausting job. I'm just going to read a little bit of, of what you say here. Uh, 220 out of uh, 1,000 168 sanitation employees are out of work right now or on limited duty. Uh, you talk about work-related injuries, also hazardous waste. Why did you resign this spring from the city of Philadelphia? I resigned because I, I felt I had a bigger calling and a bigger mission. Um, while I love the job and while I love being with my former co-workers, I felt uh, a calling to advocate, to educate, to do everything possible to bring awareness to sanitation workers, not only in Philadelphia, but across this country. And that's hard to do when you're still throwing bags eight hours a day. So um, I just took a, a, a bet on myself and I talked to family members and they said they supported me. And I resigned in February and I was like, this is what I'm going to do full time. I'm going to be your fave trashman full time. I'm going to educate residents. I'm going to advocate for sanitation workers. I'm going to make it cool to be a sanitation mm -hmm. worker here in the United States of America. Um, the most astonishing part of this interview on WHYY that I see here, uh, and, and I quote you, you pick up a bag with a needle in it and you don't see a puncture or a piece of glass sticking out. You go to throw it in there and you cut your leg or something. I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, it is so dangerous to have an, a random needle suddenly prick you. Uh, yeah, and, and there's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of sanitation workers dealing with that every day. And that's why I started the Instagram to tell the untold stories. Much, much like forklift dance, we're taking things that people deal with every single day and shedding a light on it for everyone to see, for everyone to get an understanding, for everyone to get a, a, a shift in perspective. And that's how we impact our community. That's how we um, we make things better. You know, my mother always right. said, when you know better, you do better. Yeah, and just from reading this article, uh, I've learned so much. Yeah, I've, I've, my perspective has changed. Uh, Allison, running out of time here, but I do want to make sure our viewers know uh, how they can watch the event. Tickets are free and available at uh, bit.ly backslash trash dance tickets. What else do our viewers need to know? Yeah, our event with Terrell and Austin Resource Recovery is this Saturday at Pioneer Farms. The gates open at 7. We'll start a program at 8, and, um, and the movie will screen at sundown. Yeah, you can go to forklifdanceworks.org to make free reservations or get more information, yes, or you see the bit.ly there. So mm -hmm. we really hope to see you all come on out Saturday night. Well, you got an amazing story, Terrell. Uh, I, I want to read Thank more. You. I want to know more about it. Thank you for everything you're doing for our community, our essential workers. Uh, and Allison, congratulations on this, on this great work. Good talking to both of you. Thank you again. Thank Bye, you. Bye, guys. Be safe. You too. Bye. Take care.